Virgin Interactive Entertainment presents Links for the Sega CD. Licensed from Access Software and developed by Papyrus Design Group. Set atop the cliffs at the edge of the Pacific Ocean, the 36 holes of Torrey Pines North and South Courses are one of the finest and most picturesque municipal golf facilities in the world. They have been a popular stop on the PGA Tour for decades, and most of the great players of the world have appeared here. While the scenery is just as spectacular on the South Course as it is on the North, you had better keep your concentration or else this apparently simple looking course will tear you apart. The first hole is a 438 yard par 4 that requires two longish shots, Steve. How would you play it? Well Ben, the key to the first hole is to keep your tee shot left of the bunker on the right side of the fairway. Then you'll be able to approach the green from there. The second hole is a 336 yard slight dog leg to the right par 4, where a well hit tee shot will leave the player with just a short iron to the green. Steve? You must attack this hole down the right side, Ben. And the very longest hitters can almost reach. But don't hit your pitch behind the hole. Very treacherous. Easy to three putt. Yes. The third hole is a par three of 139 yards, where club selection becomes a problem with the wind a factor, Steve. Yes, Ben, it's very downhill. And with the wind in your face and the downhill, it almost evens it out. But I'd always tend to play one club less. The fourth hole is a 430-yard par 4 with the cliffs on the left. And a long tee shot is required to get on the green in two shots. Make sure you keep it away from the bunker on the right, but not too much. The water's there on the left, Ben. The fifth hole is a par four of 390 yards with a very demanding tee shot, Steve. You absolutely have to thread the needle, Ben. But after you've done that, you set up a reasonably short iron to the green. And stay below the hole to avoid three putting. Absolutely. The sixth hole is a big swinging dog leg to the right of 520 yards, par 5, and it's up to the player to decide how much he can cut off the corner. But not too much, Ben. OB is hanging out there on the right, but it should be a birdie opportunity. Seventh hole at 436 yards, par four, is one of the toughest on the course, Steve. Every player that plays this hole, Ben, will have to keep his drive to the left and then play a very long iron shot to an elevated green. A four here is tremendous. Hole number eight is a par three of 156 yards, uphill to a very deep green. Use one extra club, Ben, unless the wind's blowing from behind. The ninth hole is a straightaway par five of 524 yards, and the big hitters here 
can get on or close to the green in two shots. Ben, it's really a hole that you can let it rip. But don't hit it in the trap on the right, otherwise you'll have to lay way back and have a difficult shot in. We've reached the turn now, and the 10th hole is a 358-yard par 4, dogleg to the left. Ben, I like to play this hole with a 3-wood or a 1-iron to the right side of the fairway. It sets me up for a good angle to come into a relatively flat green. The 11th hole is a devilishly difficult par 3 of 194 yards, Steve. Usually plays into the wind off the ocean, Ben. A long iron will be required here, or maybe a fairway wood. There's a little creek just in front, so make sure you get over it. Now we come to the notorious 12th hole at Torrey Pines South, which is a 457-yard par four. Ben, it's just the most difficult hole of the course. Two longest clubs in the bag to get there in two. If you're not playing this hole well, just enjoy the view. The 13th hole is a par five of 519 yards. Obviously a birdie opportunity, Steve. Ben, if you don't hit a booming drive where you can reach in two, you must lay up to the bottom of the hill. Although your third will be a tricky uphill blind shot, a birdie will still be a possibility. The 14th hole is a 382 yard par four, famous for a tree on the right hand side that a few years back destroyed Craig Stadler's chances in the tournament. Ben, I play this hole with a long iron or a fairway wood. Anywhere away from that tree to the left will leave you perfect position. The 15th hole is a par 4 of 345 yards, comparatively simple speed. Not a difficult hole, Ben, if you can keep your drive up the right side. But there is a bunker guarding the right front of the green that you must negotiate for a birdie to be possible. The 16th hole is a most demanding par 3 of 184 yards to the cliff top where I sat for many years, Steve. This hole will be played with a long iron, but don't hook it, Ben. The ice plant in the cliff is waiting on the left. The famous 17th hole is a 413-yard par 4, which demands an accurate tee shot, Steve. Ben, since they've put in a new cross bunker a few years ago, the popular play is to lay up with a long iron or a fairway wood short of it. Although it leaves you a longer shot in, it's the percentage way to play the hole. And so we come to the final hole, a tempting but dangerous par five of 485 yards that has been the graveyard of many a would-be champion at Torrey Pines. Yes, Ben, once you've negotiated the bunker off the tee on the left, the hard work is still in front of you. Guarding the front left of the green is a small pond that's drowned many a good score here.
How many players? Please enter player information. What would you like to do? Set atop the cliffs at the edge of the Pacific Ocean, the 36 holes of Torrey Pines North and South courses are one of the finest and most picturesque municipal golf facilities in the world. They have been a popular stop on the PGA Tour for decades, and most of the great players of the world have appeared here. While the scenery is just as spectacular on the south course as it is on the north, you had better keep your concentration, or else this apparently simple looking course will tear you apart. First hole is a 438 yard par four that requires two longish shots, Steve. How would you play it? Well, Ben, the key to the first hole is to keep your tee shot left of the bunker on the right side of the fairway. Then you'll be able to approach the green from there. Player one. On the fairway. Let's go. Player one. That's definitely very short. Let's go. Player one. It looks like a beautiful shot. On the green. Player one. Let's go. Player one. Player one.
player one. Let's take a look at the scorecard. The second hole is a 336 yard slight dog leg to the right par four, where a well hit tee shot will leave the player with just a short iron to the green. Steve? You must attack this hole down the right side, Ben, and the very longest hitters can almost reach. But don't hit your pitch behind the hole. Very treacherous. Easy to three putt. Yes. Player one. on the fairway. Let's go. Player one. in the rough. Player one. On the fairway. Player one. Player one. Player one. That'll play on the green. Player one. Player one. Player one. Let's take a look at the scorecard. Third hole is a path.
player one. On the fairway. Player one. Battle play. On the green. Let's go. Player one. Player one. Player one. Double bogey. Let's take a look at the scorecard. The fourth hole is a 430-yard par 4 with the cliffs on the left, and a long tee shot is required to get on the green in two shots. Make sure you keep it away from the bunker on the right, but not... Player one. On the fairway. Player one. Uh oh, that's going to go into that sand trap. I fear that is buried in that bunker. Player one. On the green. Let's go. Player one. Player one. Bogey. Let's take a look at the scorecard. The fifth hole is a par four of 390 yards with a very demanding tee shot, Steve. You absolutely have to thread the needle, Ben. But after you've done that... Player one. <laughs> 
in the rough. Player one. on the fairway. Player one. Player one. On the green. Player one. Player one. Double bogey. Let's take a look at the scorecard. The sixth hole is a big swinging dogleg to the right of 520 yards, par five and it's up to the player to decide how much he can cut off the corner. But not too much, Ben. OB is hanging out there on the right, but it should be a birdie opportunity. Player one. In the spinach. Player one. On the fairway. Player one. Better hurry up. Player one. Player one. On the green.
player one. Player one. Player one. 